get a good feeling, yeah. Get a good feeling, yeah Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah Yes, I can, I'm gonna leave, I'm running with this plan Pull me, grab me, grab us in the front, you can't have me I'll be the president one day, Jam will be first Oh, you like that gossip, like you the one taking what gossip Not you ball. Yeah, I got a brand new spirit speaking and it's done Woke up on the side of the bed like I won Talk like I'm winning my check that that's on G5 in the US to Taiwan Now who can say that? I wanna play back Let's talk about this weekend. What sure. does this mean to you? Well, it means uh, obviously validation of uh, what, what we accomplished at Old Dominion in particular and um, I feel very honored that this happened to me but at the same time I feel like I share this honor with a lot of people that were on the team when I played at Old Dominion. Uh, we had a lot of really dedicated uh, young ladies that worked very hard. Uh, they were great comrades. They, they really cared about each other. Uh, I don't think that anybody on that team played more than 25 minutes a game. And that was uh, a responsibility we felt we had to get everybody on the floor. And obviously that gave us a stronger team, uh, seeing how you get better when you play, not when you practice. And, and I do think that was one of our strengths, that everybody not knew their place, but they did that, but they knew they were taken care of. And, and they mattered too, because everybody mattered on that team. And that was very special. I have never found that anywhere else before or after. And, and that is some uh, really great memories that, that are in my heart, thanks to that. Talk about your days at Old Dominion, those great memories. The, the days at Old Dominion. I don't know, Carol. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a, a lot of... I mean, you see clips of people, you see clips of things that happened. Mm -hmm. um, I can still see Angela Kaufman running suicides backwards, laughing at us and beating us all. And I just wanted to strand her. <laughs> but she was such an awesome athlete. She was 5'7 and could get her hand over the rim uh, and just a wonderful person. Uh, that is one of the things that come back to me. Uh, Sue Davy and Sandy Burke teaching me to dance in front of the mirror. We're on the road, we're, we're at the final four, they're teaching me to dance. And you know, it, we, we were just, they were good people. Uh, Linda Jerome, uh, my roomie on the road. Uh, she's an air traffic controller, is what I heard later on. And that really makes you not want to fly. <laughs> you know, I mean, she, she was, she was, uh, a very dedicated player, but she also had a party girl in her, and and I don't know that I would want that to direct my playing, you know, to later. <laughs> what else? Chris Quitelli, Jan Trombley, I mean, what can I say? They, they were great, great kids. They were a great addition to that initial group. Um, Annie Donovan, I can't say enough about Anne. Uh, her her ribs were bloodied. Uh, after that final game, she took her shirt off and little bird she was, she was a skinny back then. Uh, she had she, bruises, blood was running down. Wow, what a competitor. And, and obviously uh, Nancy was part of that, that uh, uh, group also. And she, she was just way ahead of her time. Uh, she was one of the first big point guards that, that could do more than pass the ball. She, she could shoot, she could dribble, she could, she could rebound, and, and that really was a big change to the game. And now you have 6'3", six, 6'4", six, point guards, and you know, it's just been a tremendous evolution in, in, in women's basketball. Jan Trombley, one of Ng's uh, teammates. Talk about Ng and this moment for her. I wrote, uh, Lance gave me a book on Ng, and I had to write a comment what I thought of Ng, and I said, what an honor. What an honor to play with somebody of that athletic ability. 
a, a leader. We had somebody such a leader on the team. I mean, Nancy always set some goals, but Ing was the silent killer. Ing was the one that set the pace in the sprint. She was the one that was the last one introduced at, at the um, introduced at the games. She was the one that got us ready for game time. Ing was our true leader, and there's ten of us here tonight, and uh, we're here to honor Ing because without Ing and our six five center. God only knows where we would have been, but what an honor to be here tonight, and she truly, truly is deserving of this Hall of Fame. Uh, tonight was a really special night. It was a night to celebrate one of the truly great players in the history of women's basketball, Ing Nissen. And Ing, in my opinion, has been one of those players who has kind of gone under the radar, so to speak. Uh, unless you watch women's basketball uh, back in the late 70s,